We're going to be working with a file that I made for you. It's in School Loop, and you're going to go ahead and download it and open it up. It doesn't have your name on it, so you're going to need to first, once it's open, go ahead and file, save as, and then just put your last name and your first name in front of the, the words so that you don't end up actually taking the title of the assignment away. This can be saved on your desktop for now, and um, so I would take it out of your downloads, and I would put it into your desktop and make sure that you can find it. I made one already with my name on it, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. There's a lot of layers to this. I've organized them for you into folders. Um, what I like to do when I work into fo in Photoshop is I actually like to take my layers panel out of the tab, and I like to stretch it out because I need to be able to see all of them at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up like this. And I want you to know that each Stewie has been numbered and also put together into its own separate folder. So as you're working on the Stewies individually, you're going to have to open up the folder. And inside of the folder, you're going to find the actual copy of the Stewie. And then you're also going to find the type that goes with that particular Stewie. We're not going to actually do anything to the type. The only thing we're going to concentrate on is the pictures or the images. Um, we're going to be adding layer effects. Um, I've also told you exactly which layer effect will be applied to that STUI so that you don't have to type anything and it'll go in order. The layer effects can be found just like in the selection tool practice with the cat eyes by double clicking on the layer and then I um, went ahead and put these in order of the list. The only one that is not on the list is this last one. So I'm going to show you that in the, in the video. Okay, something to know about this. First of all, the bevel and emboss can't be changed or affected if you don't have the word actually click, like, um, highlighted. So just because you're putting a check next to a style or an effect, you won't have any of the effects or the settings for that effect unless you click on the word. So we're going to start with bevel and emboss contour. So I'm going to go ahead and click on just the contour. And then I'm going to be able to choose what kind of beveling and embossing I want. So this is just up to you exactly what you want to do to it. You can choose all sorts of different settings for this. You can change sizes, you can change colors, you can change the opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that, um, put this on normal, and you can change the, the shadow color if you want to. So you'll notice it changes. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so I can see and maybe instead I'll just do an outer. It just depends on what you want to do. Okay, and then just go ahead and click OK. That's all you have to do. Um, close the folder, move on to Stewie number two, and then go on to Bevel and Boss Texture. Some of you are not going to see all these, and for some reason it doesn't open. If that is the case, you can go ahead and click on the FX, and then just click on Show All Effects, and this list will come up. So you can see that I have the texture on, so I'm going to go ahead with this, and I'm going to increase the scale of my texture. I can change the depth, make it look like he has chicken pox. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Close your folder, open up your third one, and then follow the directions. So we're going to go to Stroke, we're going to change the size, I'm going to make this on the outside, I can change my color, I can change the brightness, the opacity, and click OK. Close open. Inner shadow. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. This one, again, you can change the colors. If you're not seeing the effect that you're adding to your STUI, that means that this box preview is not actually clicked on. You want to be able to see what you're doing, so go ahead and click that on. Maybe lower the opacity a little bit. Play around with the colors. 
distance, the width, the size, all of that stuff. All right, close and open this up. We're gonna do uh, inner glow. Inner glow is very much like the inner shadow. Now, this is the thing I want you to pay attention to. Right here, this blend mode. Some of these settings have a blend mode automatically set for them. This is on screen, so I don't like the way this is looking, so I'm going to go ahead and convert this to normal. Just play around with it until you like your settings. Okay. They don't have to look natural as long as you're just having fun trying different effects. Next one is going to be satin. So again, this is another situation where we have blend mode and we have multiply turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and go with normal. You can change the angle in which this is hitting Stewie. Just try to make it look like you um, spent some time on it. And then go ahead and close that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just continue. I want to get to the um, I want to get to the last one so I can show you how to do it. And you can play around with these blend modes because each of these are going to do something different. So you might want to actually not just do normal, but try to play around with some of these. We'll get into these later. These are a different a different situation or a different conversation. This pattern one, you have lots of patterns. You can actually open up all of these different patterns here. Um, so if you wanted to try experimenting, I have all of mine open, so I have lots of choices to choose from. But there's a lot of different types. Leaves. It's hard to pick one. You can, you can actually create more than one if you create another layer of a stewie and put the stewie on top of the one that's existing right now. Okay, and then we're going to go on to number 10. Eleven. And then last but not least, we're going to get to this section right here, Styles. Styles has a bunch of different selections. So this one right here is called the blue button. That's what this one is. This is the one that you're, or blue glass, that's the one that you're supposed to use for this one. Um, if you want to use one of the other ones, I'll let you, but I would like you to change the type to tell me what it is that you're changing it to. But this is the blue button one. And then go ahead and click OK. And then last but not least, we're going to save as. 
you're going to save it as a PSD first. You're then at the very end going to go ahead and save as and you're going to make sure to save it as a JPEG. Remember, you have to turn in JPEGs in School Loop if you want to get credit for your assignments because I cannot open all of the PSDs. Um, it's just too much memory for my computer. So I need you to save this second copy as a JPEG, save it to your desktop, and then submit that one onto School Loop. And then you're done.